segment, Power Profiles. Today we're exploring the life of Dermot Lucky Quinn. Quinn is one of Chicago's most powerful and respected men. His empire stretches across the country and overseas. His personal wealth is estimated at $40 billion. Here at home, he owns buildings, land, hotels, and numerous successful businesses. Just how did Quinn get so lucky? Let's find out. We were dirt poor. There were seven of us. My brothers, sister, and my mom. She brought us here to America from Galway. Imagine that. We were happy little children, excited for a new life. New food to taste. Things we'd see and do, my sister died. Before we stepped foot on the soil. And so then there were six of us. And, you know, it's a sour taste for me to this day. This is Power Profiles. We're profiling Lucky Quinn, businessman, philanthropist, possible mob boss. For decades, Quinn built his fortune. He made numerous endowments to Chicago to encourage arts and education scholarship funds. Oh, she raised us to work hard. She took in washing. I delivered from shops. That meant my youngest brother was allowed to go to school. With a very strict upbringing. A nickel was gold and it was, it was treated as such. I learned the value of money very early on. That I did. But hard work wasn't getting them out of the poorhouse. Well, he died, you see. Not much more to say on that. It was left up to me to feed the lads. We're going to pause for a quick break. If CTOS doubles their guards, I better double my weapons. Hey, wait. Sorry, what can I do for you? Last few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DeadSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Safety is paramount, so we've hired private security for every CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In New security is no joke. I need access. Gotta find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. Think you're good? I'm better. Why 
have to give it up. You know this isn't personal, right? Hey, asshole, you pissed off some seriously powerful people. Oh, I'll cover you. Get this guy off me. Stand down. What was that? That's inside someone's home. That's it. I'm hacked in. What? You mean you're in the CTOS already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. What is it? I lined up a lucrative deal with a very demanding client. He needs a driver. No. But here's the thing. I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. 
Now I could pass this problem on to you, since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start, and all I'm asking of you... All right. Fine. I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me put you out. I said I'd handle it. It's the job. Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. <laughs>